Yesterday by Lisa Menchev, illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. My big sister, Jane, has the best imagination. She makes up all kinds of things out of her very own head. Want to dress up and pretend something? Not right now, Lizzie, says Jane. Tell me a story, I ask. The one where I'm not really your sister because you found me in the garden under a rock. I can't, she says. I'm going to Emma's house for a play date. When you get home, I ask. Maybe when I get home. That evening, I wait for Jane to come home. And I wait. And I wait some more. I hear a car pull up outside. Jane's home. Want to tell stories in my fort? I ask. I used all the blankets. Jane shakes her head. Mom said I had to do my homework. You're always busy. The next morning, I point to the only empty box on her calendar. What day is this? That's Saturday, she says. I have an idea. An idea for grand, glorious, practically perfect surprise. I find my pink crayon and circle, circle, circle that Saturday. On Monday, Jane has soccer practice. Instead of cheering, I get to work because dragons are tricky. On Tuesday, Jane goes to ballet. Usually, I like to jump and twirl too, but today I have to put tutus on sugar plum berries. Piano lessons are on Wednesday. The metronome goes click, clack, click, clack, while I get the orchestra in a place. Karate is on Thursday. While Jane practices kicking, I practice sneaking. I sneak, sneak, sneak to a quiet corner to finish up my surprise. Friday afternoon, Jane goes to Emma's house again. Mom helps me bake Jane's favorite treat. Early the next morning, I get out my sketchbook and my roll of scotch tape and my scissors. It takes an hour and the whole roll of tape. But when everything is ready, I go up to Jane's room. I remember to knock. Knock, knock, knock. Jane? No answer. Even though I'm not supposed to, I open the door her room is empty. I run downstairs yelling, Mom, have you seen Jane? But when I turn the corner to the kitchen, Jane is standing there wearing a t-shirt covered in glittery glue. I made these for us at Emma's house, she says. They are perfect! I clap my hands, wriggle into my shirt, and tug her into the living room. Surprise! I drew you a story, I say. Happy Sister's Day! You didn't just draw a story, Lizzie, Jane says. You made a whole lot of magic. You have a great imagination. It runs in the family, I tell her.